is silent in the calm. Hushed and empty is the womb of the sky. And with that, welcome to another episode of Gaming with Mom, Warframe oh. Edition. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a little... See, I told you there was going to be a touch of horror to this. There's going to be something a little... um. Like, as you yeah. got into it, it was gonna get kind of intense. I warned you. Secret worldish, right there. Right? It's like the, Yikes. the writing in this is so good, and the way certain lines are delivered, it still just gives me chills whenever uh, I yeah, see it. It's like, so no. So creepy. Right? Oh, but I love it. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll go ahead and pick this up. Sounds good. So yeah, I'll have to break into the network. Be prepared for I absolutely, I can't do this absolutely love it. It makes me so happy to be able to share, like this <laughs> portion. Creepiness? Yes, this portion of the game with you because I know that you kind of share my passion for that, and oh, yeah, it's like, yeah, I appreciate that so much. It's it's only gonna get better from here. I promise you. Like it's. Nice. To me, it's sort of, sorry, it's sort of a it's hidden okay. hidden gem because I never, when I first started playing this game, I'm like, it's bright, it's fun, it's like the oh, combat. And happy. Well, the combat s system is nice and and flashy and and it feels good, but most games that I've played have had the problem. Sorry, I won't do it. I won't do it's it again. Okay. No, I won't. It's fine. I won't it's touch fine. them. I'm just gonna. Yep. Stop. <laughs> Most games I've played, like, they don't have it all. Like, with other games that I've played where they'll have a really good story, but then they won't have very solid combat. Yeah. You know? And so, I've gotten... Oh, thank you. I've gotten kind of used to it as, um... If it has something really good like that, then you're going to be missing out on another aspect, but that's what very, very pleasantly surprised me about this game, because it's like, nope, you can have the story, and you can have the gorgeous art, and you can have the the combat system. It makes me so happy. Yeah. I can see why. But I... I really like it. My, my favorite thing is getting people into the story, because, it, like... It's like, can you, well, what's it about? And I'm like, I can't, I can't tell you that. Like, no, you have to experience the story for yourself and you have to experience like the writing and whatnot for yourself. Yeah, that was unexpected. Right? That was unexpected. This is why so many times... Back here. Thank you. This is why so many times Dave would be like, you have to tell me when you're at this point. <laughs> and I'd be like, okay. Or he'd just be, oh, he'd be like, what are you working on? And I'd be, he was often very, very sly about it. He'd be like, so where are you at? Um, and I'd let him know. And he'd just kind of appear and hover around my desk to get a gauge for my reaction when I actually got to a part that he knew what was coming up. And that's why he'd always be coming around like laughing at me, like, ha ha ha. <laughs> She's That's gonna, for you. yeah, she's gonna be like so happy or so creeped out so in the sad. best possible <laughs> way. So sad, yeah. There are parts of it that are. Oh no! Why are you Sorry. all the way? No, why are you all the way over here? Because there's a star there. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'd do the same thing. I mean, um, you gotta get your priorities, and that was just mine at the moment, so forget, I'm sorry. Forget the defense target. Just go get your treasures. Yeah. No, I'm with you. Listen, you were doing all the beating up, so I didn't think I was needed. I wasn't trying to take all the, the beating up stuff. You actually, the past couple missions, I don't know if you noticed, you um, had the top DPS spot. No, I didn't. Yeah, I was... There's um... another star back here. Oh, thank you. I actually got that one. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank Sorry. You. No, you're good. It's always good to point those out. I'm always, I'm always yelling at people to go pick up the stars. I don't know if Dave is still being like really sassy about the cyan stars and be like, no, I'm not gonna pick them up. I only pick up amber stars. It's like, why would you do that? He was picking them up when he was with me. That's good. More rubido. I don't know whether that was just to humor me though, because I'm new and. 
you know, kitty trying to do all the stuffs. Maybe he's doing better about it. Maybe. I kind Maybe. of secretly hope that there's something that's going to come out that's going to take like a million billion of this, the um, cyan no. stars. So that he's like, no. <laughs> and I can sit there and be like, well, that's what you get for not picking up the stars. As Vance has them all. I have all the stars. Because then he'd, he'd be like, you want to trade them? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't get my stars. Oh, no. 100 out of 150 freeze. Nice. Yeah. I'm proud of you for, like, getting into Nightwave and doing so much of it. Like, even... I feel like that's something you've kind of taken by the horns. Yeah. And... Once I realized I could do some of it myself... Yeah. Then it, it became... Uh, you know me. Yeah, well, I was going to say, I was sitting there like, oh yes, this is going to be another way to hook her because dailies and weeklies. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You know it is. There's something very... I don't know what to say other than... Maybe it's... Maybe it's um, accomplished. It feels well, like you've accomplished things once you can do that stuff. Yeah, there's something that's nice about that structure. And honestly, I've... I've never seen in another game them allow you to recover a weekly that you've passed by. No, that's amazing, because I missed a lot. Yeah, that's always been something that I've been like, well, I wish that they just, like, let me have it back if I get through, you know, all my other stuff. And, and in this game, you actually can. Gotcha, Zoom. Yeah, because I was afraid to do them. Mm-hmm. But, um... And so I missed out. Aww. But now... I'm not as, you know... Some of them I don't want to do. Yeah. But well, some of them are still a little a little bit, like, big for you to do. Yeah. Or you shouldn't be doing quite yet. Like, you shouldn't be... Like, okay, you can't take on Profit Taker, and you can't really take on the Eidolons, but... In all, in all technicality, anyway. But, for the most part, it I would say it never hurts to try some of the Nightwave challenges just to see if you can do certain things. Yeah. yeah. Well, and especially because um, a lot of them, you know, when you've got ones that are like, uh, you know, doing a rescue or doing um, assassinates or anything like that, there are... There are lower level ones. That's true. That you can do. And yeah. it's it's very helpful. It's not something that's only for high level players. I didn't think I didn't realize at first that I could do, you know, just a mission on Earth or, mm -hmm. or Mars or something to um satisfy yeah. the requirements. But yeah. That makes it way better. It does. Yeah, it sounds like even the name of it sounds a little intimidating, like Nightwave. That's a that's a little scary sounding, but it's actually not for the most part. There are things that are scaled for higher level challenges, but at the same time, there's also plenty of stuff that whoa, did you see that? See what? You might have missed it. There's there's uh something that kind of appeared in front of you and then left. No, I didn't. You didn't see, see it. it. You didn't see the creepiness. Oh, no. I'm so I'm so sorry. Now I don't know whether I'm you're gonna be around. No, no, I don't know whether <laughs> you're gonna be treated to more spookiness as soon as you get back. I don't remember off the top of my head, but oh. I'll I'll be quiet for a second in case in case in case is. you do. Yeah. So you can like make fun of me. <laughs> no, <laughs> I want you to enjoy it as much as I enjoy it. Koosh. <laughs> Got lots of goodies that time. Oh yeah. I actually didn't have anything stolen from me this time. It's a miracle. My lich has been very cruel.
Are you getting spooked? No, he just is going to give me another blueprint to make. No. And Ortis is just... <sighs> he hero worships Samaris so, he so really, much. He really is. He deserves better than Samaris, admittedly. Samaris, <laughs> he's, he's a little harsh. Poor Ortis. But, you know... But he's leading him astray with the promise to heal his malfunctions. I know. So, I kind of feel bad for Ortis. Yeah. Because he's such an innocent little thing. You need to I... learn, you need to learn at some point the origin story of Ortis because I think you will really, really like that. Is it going to make me sad? Yes. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's nice. At least you're honest about <laughs> You'll it. You'll really, really like that. Is it going to make me sad? Yes. <laughs> you'll you'll really like the thing that makes you sad. Don't Very worry good. about it. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, yeah, you know me. Yeah. It's good. Like, there's so much to the stories in this game, though, that it's like they do well of balancing the really sad stuff with the, like, hopefulness also, too. Like, horrible things happen, but also good things happen yeah. and come from it. And there's damage, but there's also healing. So I I like the balance of that a lot. I feel like that's very important in stories, just as a whole. Yeah, I agree. I'm just wondering if anything's going to pop up once I'm done crafting my chroma signal. I Yeah, you know what? I'm sure that it is. Let me, I'm just actually going to take a quick peek here. Mm-hmm. I'm a little. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Maybe maybe you'll be safe this time. Oh, my frames. They're almost. <sighs> Come on, guys. Get I done. know. <laughs> You're a bunch and bunch of frames that you want to get done and get leveled. All right. Let me claim the blueprint. I'm just excited. You're getting so many primes. That's so nice. Motivations are inconsequential. Okay. Well, you heard it first. Okay. <laughs> oh no, he's trying to get Ortis to... Come to Sanctuary, it sounds like. Yeah. Come on, man. Leave Ortis alone. All right. Well, it didn't really say anything creepy, just that I have to go to a derelict next, I believe. Oh, okay. Well, derelicts are fun. If I remember correctly, you actually like the derelicts from what you've seen of them. So that's going to uh -huh. be a really nice adventure. So next a time nice around... Adventure. Yeah, next time around, it'll be a pleasant outing. Okay. It'll be a beautiful mother-daughter we'll trip. Yeah. It'll be fun. Take puppies and kitties, and yeah, it'll be it'll be beautiful. Okay. So, guys, let us know when did this game start getting real for you? Where you were like, um, what am I? What am I getting myself into again? <laughs> because it doesn't quite advertise itself as horror but there definitely are some darker elements to it that I absolutely love and and honestly I think for the most part all good sci-fi and fantasy do have a bit of an edge to them even if it's Agreed. a bit hidden maybe that's just yeah. my personal preference but I definitely love especially the sci-fi stuff that has that undertone to it it just I don't know it feels great there's nothing quite like it so thank you so much for hanging out with us and joining us. Until next time, guys. See you next time.